Tonight for dinner, Jean and I will be having two of the Happy Yak offerings. First, the beef stew with vegetables and potatoes, and then for dessert, the Merry Berry Couscous. If you're interested in seeing what these look and taste like, keep watching. Okay, before we start preparing these two meals, I thought I'd just take a minute to talk about each of them and how they're prepared and how we'll prepare them, and then we'll get to preparing them. So to begin with, the beef and veg beef stew with vegetables and potatoes is not one of the express lines, so this does take a little longer to cook. However, it should be worthwhile. This actually has real freeze-dried beef in it, as well as potatoes and spices and herbs and freeze-dried vegetables such as peas, carrots, corn, and onions. So it looks like a regular beef stew. So I'm kind of interested to try this. Now the method of operation or method of preparation for this is to add two cups or 500 mils of water with this to, that would be two cups of cold water with this to a pot, bring it to a boil, take it down to a simmer, simmer and stir constantly for five minutes, then take it off of the heat and let it stand for 12 to 15 minutes. So that's the preparation of the beef stew with vegetables and potatoes. And I'll give you a quick look at the label. Now for the dessert. So the dessert is something absolutely brand new to me. So the dessert is from their express line, so meaning that it can be cooked or prepared in one of two ways. The express method would be to add between 125 and 175 mils of water, so just over half a cup of water. Add it boiling water directly to the bag, stir, seal, let it stand 15 to 18 minutes, stirring once or twice, or as I like to do, give it a little shake to make sure it stays mixed through, and then your meal is prepared, or your dessert is prepared. So this would be a hot dessert. Now, I can't see any reason why you couldn't let it cool and serve as a cool dessert, but not having had it before, we'll try it and see. The other method, the method we're going to use, is the optimal method, which is to add this, again, to the same amount of water, 125, to, which is a half a cup of water, to 175, which is about five ounces, to this package in a pot, bring it to a boil, simmer one to two minutes on low heat, stirring often, Cover, remove from heat, and let stand five to ten minutes, stirring once or twice. So that's the method we're going to be using tonight. So Gina, and I've mentioned this in a few other video videos, Gina and I are camping in Kujibakwak National Park in New Brunswick, Canada. And when we car camp, quite often we bring a lot of fresh food for the first few days. But once that fresh food is used up, we don't have electricity. We just use an ice chest. We like to have dried foods or canned foods that we can then resort to for the remainder of the, of the two weeks we're here. This Year, what we thought we'd do is we'd take a couple of the Happy Yak meals along with us that we could prepare and try and see how they work out as a meal here while we're car camping. Now, honestly, this would be an expensive way of going about it. When you think about it, the vegetable stew, for instance, you can get a can of vegetable stew for much less than the cost of this package. But, you know, that's not the point. The point here is this is lightweight, something that you can take with you on a hiking trip and prepare with you, and it's going to keep, and you don't have a metal can that you have to to carry out afterwards. So it's an option and it's an option for those who might be interested in trying something like this. So that's what we thought we'd do is prepare it here tonight and then let you know how it works out. So what I'll do now is I'll bring my water or add this to the cold water, bring it to a boil. We'll simmer it for the two minutes. When I take it off and bring it to the table to stand for the 15, what is it again? 12 to 15 minutes, then I'll show it to you then. And then again, of course, when we go to serve it. Oh, so I almost forgot. You'd probably be interested in knowing what this looks like before the water is added. So let's open the package up. I have not had this before, so I'm kind of interested to see how it looks as well as how it takes. Oh, my goodness. You know, quite often I'm, I'm surprised, well, always surprised at what this looks like. Let's see if I can show you this. So the potatoes are not just little cube potatoes like I thought they might be. They're actually sliced and diced potatoes, and I can see the carrots in there, uh, the peas for sure. I want to pull out a piece of the freeze-dried beef for you to see. So what I'm really going to be interested in seeing once we have this meal prepared is what the beef comes out like, because I cannot dehydrate a piece of beef that comes out as tender as it does fresh and new. So it'll be interesting to see what this is like, if it's like a piece of stewed beef, which is very tender, of course. So there, 
the smell is good but of course again that's not the test the test is what will it come out like at the end so let's add two cups of cold water mix that around the sauce rehydrates or mixes in instantly let's take another look at that piece of, a piece of that beef there's a piece of beef with the carrot and peas on top and they're all freeze dried of course so all right so now we will put it on the heat bring it to a boil simmer five minutes take it off and let it stand for what did i say 10 to 12 minutes not very long after that all right i'll bring it back when it comes to that point Okay, so the beef stew is now on simmer, and we have to give that a five minutes to simmer. And while it is on simmer, I thought I would start the preparation of the Mary or of our dessert, which is known as Mary Berry Couscous. And let me give you a close-up of that package. So here is the Mary Berry Couscous, and what the ingredients for this are very simple: wheat couscous, which is a wheat product, as most of you likely know, skim milk powder, dried cranberries. There is a brown sugar vanilla powder uh, sauce mix that would go together and then some spices and that's it. So again, this is something I have not had before. I could have prepared this right in the bag during using the express method, which would be to add the boiling water, seal and let it set 15 minutes. But I'm going to do it the optimal method. So I have a smaller bowl here. I'll open it up. This has got the Ziploc bag. Well, this is interesting. It always is when I open these packages up. I don't think it gets any simpler than that. I see some big cranberries, couscous, which is the lighter or the brown stuff, and of course then the the sugar mixture as well. So simple dessert. Let's put it together with 175 or five ounces of cold water. Mix that around. All right, that's mixing in nicely. And this gets brought to a boil, simmered for one to two minutes, taken off the heat, and then let stand five to 10 minutes. And we'll be putting that inside of a cozy as well. And you can see that the skim milk powder has fully rehydrated. So it is a milk-like base dessert. This is from their vegetarian lineup. I don't know if I mentioned the beef stew is from their uh, gluten-free lineup. Certainly not vegetarian with big chunks of beef, but it is from a gluten-free lineup. This one is from the vegetarian lineup, so it looks quite interesting. I'm kind of excited to see what this will taste like afterwards. Okay, same thing. We'll bring you back when this is ready to be put in the cozy. Okay, Gina just brought me the pot. See if I can get it centered so you can see what it looks like. There's the beef stew as it stands right now. So it's partially rehydrated. It obviously needs a little bit more time. So let's take the handle off the pot. So we are again using my expedient pot cozy because I was not prepared when I came camping to bring one of the ones I have made for this type of thing. But this worked just fine for the last meal we did this with. Okay, nothing left now but to wait the, what is it, 12 minutes? 12 minutes for this to finish the rehydration process. But you lay that there. That looks interesting. And we'll undo this and we'll make the transfer. You want to take that up to its spot. Cover that up again. All right. Great, perfect, thank you. Did you want to show everybody what it looks like? Oh. No, we'll do that when it's cooked. That's much smaller. I think I can get that with one uh, close plate. Perfect. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's eat. All right, your turn to prep. My turn, okay. Uh, okay. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks again for this beautiful day here in Kujbaquak National Park and to be able to share this meal together, prepared by our hands together 
And we give you thanks in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Okay. <coughs> so what you just saw us do was transfer the beef stew out of our improvised cozy to the to the, the spot where we have it now. And then put the dessert, which we timed to have ready just about the same time. So the dessert is now in its uh, five to ten minutes of rehydration. Truth, truth be, it's going to be sitting there a little bit longer than that. But uh, there it sits, ready to go. How does it look? Looks great. Smells, nice and smells amazing, doesn't it? Yeah. Really, really nice smell on it. Not terribly juicy, if, if you no, like a juicy could... stew. No, it's a very thick stew, isn't it? Very, very thick. Right. While you're serving yourself, I'll bring this up to the camera. I right hear that's not very many uh, pieces. Put a piece of, of beef in there. Can I take my? Oh, there's a piece of beef. All right. <laughs> well, I think I got most of the beef. You got most. Well, there's a big piece right down there. I'll just show the people this. Okay, folks. Hopefully, you can see what we are having tonight. This is our beef stew. So the beef looks great. Everything looks great. Gina commented that it appears to be a little thick. Depends on how you like your stew. I like it thick. But, uh, you know, you could always add a little bit more water if you want it a little thinner than that. But uh, proof is in the taste test. Are you going to... Okay, sure. Nuts. The end. That's the end. There's one little potato left. Gotta have it all. <laughs> all right, perfect. So the package was saying this is 300 calories. Okay, so there's that much. That's it? Yeah, okay. Well, there's this. So that's the full bag. So it makes two good servings. I'd actually say that's a good serving, especially for having something else with it, right? Absolutely. Okay, and it's 300 calories per serving. So so to go with our meal tonight, Gina prepared some savory tea biscuits. So with cheese and uh, what was it, Tex-Mex? Tex-Mex. Tex uh, the tea biscuits are a mix, and we just put it together, and we used our Coleman oven that goes on top of our Coleman stove to uh, go with that. All right. Yeah, what do you use? Spoon or fork? You're using a fork. I'll use a spoon. I've never had anything like that come out of a can. It's delicious. It's, it tastes like homemade. It tastes like homemade, yeah. I gotta, I gotta find a piece of beef, see what that come out like. Okay, truth be told, that's a little harder than I thought it might be. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not bad, but it's not, it's not like stewed beef you would have. No, Let me see. maybe we should have stewed it longer or rehydrated it Sim longer. Simmered it. Yeah, I suppose, you know, there's nothing wrong with doing exactly that. You could put it in the cold water and just let it sit for a while, mm -hmm. then do the simmer. And I, I think you're right, a little bit more water than what they call for. They call for two cups, two and a half cups of water, maybe. The beef is just a little, little mm -hmm. chewy, yeah. And truth be told, so are the potatoes. I think maybe it's more us than the... Mm, yeah, it's warm. It's a little saltier than the other Happy Yak meals, but mm -hmm. not overly salty. Nope. Okay. I don't think people need to watch us eat. No, <laughs> no, we won't make you watch us eat. Gina just asked. You're not going to watch us the whole time, are you? Okay, we'll turn this off, and when it comes back for dessert, then we'll bring the turn the camera back on. All right, dinner is done. This should be well hydrated. Sat a little longer than the five to ten minutes. Still hot. Cool. I'll bring that around to the. I'll bring it to you. Not a lot there, but I think it's just enough for a dessert. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah, I'll put some on a, in the bowl, and then we'll show the people at home. So you'd like me to serve you, would you? Sure. Oh, very thick. Very thick. Is that a good... Uh, that's uh, perfect. Okay. Thank you. You were saying it kind of looked like a rice pudding while it was cooking, huh? Eh? Mm-hmm. Almost looks more like uh, creamed wheat now. But yeah, a little thicker. Of, yeah. 
That's couscous. Maybe you could have it for uh, a breakfast. Okay, folks, hopefully you can see that. There is the dessert, the Mary Berry Couscous, the cranberries, the couscous. It is a sugar milk sauce that thickened up, and it's getting quite, quite solid, quite gelatinous, I guess is the right term. So uh, let's give it a taste. Yeah. Right there, okay. Mm. Oh, sweet. Oh, it's yummy. Mmm. That is nice. The cranberries came back nicely. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What would you compare it to? Uh, Oatmeal, maybe? No, you. Well, it's couscous, so somewhere between like having a cream of wheat and an oatmeal, but. Mm -hmm. Nice flavor. Delicious. Taste of vanilla. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. I wonder what it'd be like cold. I think it probably you could probably put a little cold milk on top of it once that it would is be cold. Delicious. Yeah. Okay, folks. Again, we're not going to make you watch us eat our whole dessert. We'll finish up the dessert, and once we get the table cleared, we'll close the video up. All right, how about a few closing comments on the beef stew with vegetables and potatoes and the Mary Berry Couscous from Happy Yak. Well, let's start with the beef stew with vegetables and potatoes. Uh, it's not a fail. Please don't un misunderstand me. This is not a fail. What it is, is it's a qualified success. And what I mean by that is we followed the instructions perfectly. We used two cups of water or 500 milliliters of water we simmered it for five minutes, uh, stirring occasionally. Then we took it off this heat and put it in that improvised cozy and let it stand for 12 to 15 minutes. When we tried it, we found the potatoes were just a little bit hard and so was the beef, a little bit chewy. Not what we expected. Having said that, the flavor was amazing. So the flavor was definitely there, but it just didn't seem to be fully rehydrated. And we also noticed right away that it seemed to have a very thick sauce. So we went back to the stove. We added about another three quarters cup of water. We simmered it for about three or four minutes and let it stand for about another seven or eight minutes. And it was perfect. So what have I learned from that? The instructions are idealistic, but probably not realistic. This does take a little longer to pre prepare than the instructions say. So if don't be disappointed if it doesn't work out the way it should according to the instructions. My recommendation would be two things. S you could, and I think it's legitimate, if you have the time and the available uh, water and, and container to do it is, let it cold soak for an hour before you even put it on the, on the stove. And then once it's cold soaked for a while and got a chance to partially rehydrate, then bring it to the simmer, maybe a little longer than five minutes. You're going to have to stir it to make sure it doesn't burn and stick to the bottom of your pot. Then let it rehydrate possibly 18 to 20 minutes when it's covered and kept hot. That should do it. So I am going to be putting the, or sending these comments, and of course Happy Act will see them anyway, but I will send these comments back to Happy Act that uh, I was not satisfied with the instructions with the way they are. I am totally satisfied with the meal once we gave it the extra time and extra water. Okay, so that was the meal. Good flavor. Great flavor for the, for the uh, beef stew. Mary Berry Couscous. Unmitigated success. Total success. <laughs> I absolutely love that. It was different. We thought it might turn out a little bit like a rice pudding, and I think that's probably the best description we could give it. But instead of using rice, it was using the couscous. It was quite thick. Uh, you know, it did sit longer than the, the, the five to ten minutes that called for on the label just because we were in the middle of eating our stew. So, but just the same, it was fine. We didn't eat it all. It was quite sweet. In fact, the vanilla flavor and the cranberry flavor came out very strongly in that meal or in that dessert. In fact, we ate about half of it. And I'm going to be having the rest either for a midnight snack or for breakfast tomorrow because I think it's, it'll serve for that as well. Probably just put a little milk on it and eat it the way it is. Okay, so Mary Berry Couscous, great. Love them both. All right, that's two more Happy Yak meals that we prepared here using alternative methods at a campground while we're car camping in Couscous National Park. And I have a number of other meals. I'm probably going to be having one or two more meals 
of the Happy Yak brand here at the park, but the rest of them I'm probably going to be having on the trail, preparing them in an express method or a more trail type method you might use over a fire. If you have any comments either on these two meals or any of the Happy Yak meals, then please put them in the show notes or in the comments section below. In the show notes, I'll put the links to Happy Yak and, the, and specifically to these meals so you can look at the nutritional breakdown as well as the ingredient list. Okay, that's all I have for you this evening. We're off to see a presentation on the changing dunes here at Kushbequack National Park. Kind of an interesting thing because this is all about the beach. There's a lot of long sandy beaches here. So until next time, get out and explore. Take that path less traveled. It will make all the difference. Bye for now.